How are you? Um, how's the mood? Obviously, just a couple of days in now. Um, talk to us a bit about the mood that John Shea creates. It's a good mood. Um, thankfully, it's sunny out today, which helps. Now it's really good training sessions the last couple of days. Everyone's buzzing to be back in and getting around it again. So it's a really good mood, and everyone's just looking forward to the next game against Hungary. Ed Stevens was just in was there. He was saying the players feel a bit of responsibility to get a couple of results and put John O'Shea in, in put the best foot forward for him in order to get the job in a firm place. Is it, has that been spoken about, or is it just something you all feel? Um, I wouldn't say it's been spoken about, but it's. There's also self pride in there as well. You want to win for yourself and, and for your country and your family. So, um, everyone's putting their best foot forward this week and, and trying to get some good results coming up. Next question, please. David? Um, when Don Nelson squad earlier in the week, she made a point from about the fact that there is no crowd and the manager kind of leaves things in a bit of a state of flux, that there needs to be that kind of sense of purpose and control idea of what's going on with him and what's going forward. That's <coughs> surely. Yeah, I, I think you're right. It's it's important we get a it sorted sooner rather than later, especially with the the, the games coming up in September and stuff like that. Um, but that's it's obviously not for me to sort. That's for the higher uppers to sort out. But um, we just crack on as normal and, and try and do our best as we can. Obviously, John's John's been great with us so far, and, and so have all the staff. So we just got to stick together and, and try and get some good results this week. Just on that, Jason. Then. It's important to get started. Is, is the solution a comfortable step? Well, I don't know. It, in your, like, it, it, for continuity purposes, like the fact you'll have, have four games with John, yeah. you're going straight into a game with England. Yeah, I think, I think it'd be great for John to keep it going. I think we've, we've done well. We, the group knows him really well. There's a lot of respect from there as well, as well as the staff. Um, but like I say, it's, that's not for us to decide. We, we can only do our best for him and best for ourselves in the games and, and try and put on good performances. Jason, I'll just ask you about your club season. Like uh, after so many years at Derby, like was it? Did it feel like a new challenge and kind of starting afresh? And uh, how did you find it? Yeah, I think that was it was important for me to start a new challenge and um, certainly get back into the championship um, was important for me. I think it's been probably a, a positive first season. Um, played a lot of games, so I was happy with that. Scored a few few goals, got a few assists as well. So, like I say, it was there's more to come definitely, but it was a it was a positive first season, and I'm excited for for next season now as well. And aside from going back to the championship, um, I don't know, does it give you that extra bit of I don't know, motivation to prove yourself when you're in a different environment, or you feel you have to prove yourself? Hundred percent. I think it's important that you you step outside your comfort zone um, all the time and try and challenge yourself every every time you get the chance to. So that was another another reason I did it as well. And um, it was a great club, perfect fit for me in the moment, and I think. It's it's worked out well so far. Aiden, just on the club, just having Mark Sykes helps it there as well in terms of somebody's going to go and watch it. Just how yourself and Mark are Mark are a hook together at the club. Yeah, I'm I'm really close at Mark now. Um, even in the Irish setup before we were really close, and and now since I've moved to Bristol, he's, we've been really close mates and stuff like that. So it's it was it was helpful, especially with him and even Max O'Leary as well. Um, just to have someone you know can always make a make the difference. So that was important and now. We're all really close and really close to the rest of the lads in the change room as well. So it's it's been a good been a good season. Probably not too many away in international duty this week. Is it only yourself, Mark, or is it a Max, or is it a few more? There's a couple. There's a there's a boy gone to Scotland as well, and there's there maybe one more. I'm not sure, but yeah, mostly just us us three boys going away to Ireland. I don't know. He's had a lot of injuries since he went over, but have you seen much of Adam Murphy, or you know how Ryan's a bit like yourself and you? Uh, I've seen him a couple of times. He's he's like you say, he was injured for a bit, but he's come into training the last. Last couple of weeks of the season, and uh, he looked looked a real talent. He's obviously only a, a young lad coming through, so I think there's certainly a lot to come from in the in the season ahead. Just on the campaign ahead, obviously these games transfer job to try things out, but midfield has changed around a, a fair bit. Do you see that these two games as a chance for you to we're all looking at England in September as a chance for to show what you can do and show what you should be in the team to, to play in September? Absolutely, I think every game you want to make sure that you get that short and that's what I'll be trying to do this week in training. Um, obviously we've got some really good games this week and then we've got some huge games in September against England and, and that's what I want to be involved in. I want to be playing in those games and, and test myself against the best players. So I'm really looking forward to it. Paul? Yeah, Jason. What's, uh, like it depends on who the manager is, but what, what style of football should Irish teams be playing from now on in terms of Stephen was wedded to one particular style of football? Do we need to be a little bit... Do we need to be able to mix it up a bit more to feel going forward? Well, I don't know. We want to be as effective as possible, whether that's really playing or that could be going a bit more direct at times. We want to be effective and, 
and we want to be winners ultimately we want to get tournaments and we want to win the big games that get us there so it's it's game by game we think and we've got to treat it like that and we will treat it like that this week as well and that that maybe slightly more direct style has probably done us favors in the past in terms of maybe getting to tournaments and playoffs and of course but i We've got to switch it up, like I say. We can't can't just go into every game thinking this is the way we play. We've got to adapt ourselves, and I think that's the way football goes these days. You got to you got to treat every game as its own individual sequence, and that and that's it. Good. Yeah, Jason. I was looking at there. Fifty-two club matches. I think sixty games in total this season. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that sustainable? Like, we're looking at Shamrock Rovers here recently. They've over. They've some. They've well, I'm happy with the amount of games I've played this season. I think it's better to be playing games than, than training as often. So um, <coughs> I've been delighted with it. I know there is obviously loads of talk obviously in the, in the news and stuff about how much games players are playing at the moment. But as a young lad, I'm, I think I'm, I'm able for it and I'm, I'm enjoying it at the moment. So there's nothing really for me to say on that. It's okay. Just one follow-up, can I ask you uh, about Sammy Smodic and what he's brought to the, the squad and what, what you saw from over the course of the season? Yeah, he's, he's been terrific. Obviously, everyone's seen the goals, the goal contribution he's had this season. He's had a great season with uh, Blackburn. And he's he's come in, he's been a breath of fresh air. He's, he obviously brings that real attack and threat as well as something we maybe need at times as well. So everyone's looking forward to having him in the squad and he's he's done well the last couple of games he's played. Philip? Yeah, Jason, um, he played every game in the championship this year, I think. It Two subs, two, 44 starts, and two subs. But um, for Ireland, you've played 28 games now, almost 30 games. For someone who's only just trying 23, yeah. that's a lot of games. Do you see yourself now as someone who can evolve and win the leaders? <coughs> well, I certainly have to be, I think. Um, just looking around the squad at the moment, there's a lot of a younger lads coming through. Obviously, I'm, I'm still young myself, but I think it's important. Even my first cap, I think I need to be shown as a leader, as a, as a big person in the group. And, and I think I can bring that to the group as well. Obviously, we've got certain senior lads in the group with Shamey and Shane and, and Docs as well. So, um, but it's important everyone steps up and it's, it's important that everyone steps up because we need to be winning games at the, at the big moments and, that, and that we need everyone to do that. So I think it's, uh, it's certainly time for me to do that as well. Good on you. And finally, uh, position-wise, you've played a non position for Ireland. You can play wide left, wide left, and wide right, in the middle. Do you have a preference or are you one of those guys who just, whatever the manager wants, I'll do, I'll do it? Is your versatility, is it actually a strength? I think I think it is, but um, I think I'm known, and I think the manager here knows that in the middle, and I'm, I'm probably at my best. But if he decides to play me wherever, it's it's for my country and it's for him. I'll, I'll try and do my best as well. Final one for David. You said obviously you didn't follow the performance, but will you watch the Euros tomorrow? I'll probably watch it. Um, I was thinking that myself because we it's difficult because we want to be there and. It's disappointing that we're not, but I probably will watch it. You want to learn. You want to. You can't not just switch off. You got to learn from everyone you try and watch, everyone you try and play against. And we've got some great games to to test ourselves against this week. We're going to the Euros, and that's that's where we need to set the mark as well. So um, I, I will watch it. Would it be people you play with your career or all you mentioned that Scotland? Yeah, um, I'm not sure how their their squads working. I don't know if they are cutting a couple of players between now and then, but he's looking like he's going. So I'm delighted for him and. But like I say, that's that's where we want to be, and that's what we're striving for. Cheers, lads.